if you're struggling and you feel not good enough or you struggle with the fear of imperfection i struggle with that too today i have an encouraging word for you as well as three simple things you should do right now coming up my name is Nee from encouraging media and my passion is to create inspirational and encouraging content to help you overcome real life struggles with practical and biblical wisdom. Stick around to the end as I'll be sharing some encouraging words to uplift your spirit and your soul. If you're getting value from this video, please press the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let's get moving. I struggled with fear for most of my adult life. As a young adult, growing up and living in Lagos, I struggled with the fear of not doing anything significant. And as an international student in the UK, I was very shy and introverted. But the truth was, I just didn't feel good enough. So if you're listening to this, here are three simple things you can do right now. First thing, keep moving forward no matter what. When Moses and the Israelites got to the Red Sea, here is what God told them. Tell my people to go forward. One of my mentors used to say, it is easier to steer a moving train. You may feel stuck right now, but as long as you keep moving, you're doing great. Second thing, take baby steps. As a dad of young kids, one of the things I'm constantly trying to figure out is how to create time, either to read my Bible or to pray or to just go after my personal goals. And when I find myself start to give excuses, I stop myself and I say, hey, Nee, what is the simplest step you can take today. Sometimes you have to be honest with yourself and find the simplest baby step that you can start with. And with every small victory, you build muscle to do bigger things. Number three, do it afraid. If you're waiting for the right circumstance to summon the courage and do what you want to do, you might be waiting a long time. You just have to get up and get it done. There is so much that God has put inside you. Your story is powerful. It's time to rise up and share your story. The world is waiting to hear what you have to say. It's time to kick and punch that fear in the face and rise up from feeling not good enough and embrace who you are. And the next time the enemy comes and tries to intimidate you, remind him that you are a child of God. Question to pause and reflect. What is one baby step you can take right now to punch fear in the face and do that thing you've always wanted to do? Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.